to Olympia. Thanks for turning out. So we have a job to do. We need to send an absolutely clear message that we are not going to allow Washington State to be the main line for oil and coal companies to feed the world's addiction to petroleum. When we gather here together in a good way to bring, lift each other up with our good prayers, our songs for the next seven generations. Here's what's at stake. If all the current oil and coal transport projects are built, we could see 60 trains a day through our communities. We could see 4,000 additional massive tanker ships each year traveling off our coast. I'd like to uh, carry the message for the Quinault tribe. We're here to stand with all the tribal nations and say we are opposed to oil by rail. We are opposed to oil by ship or barge. Not now, not ever. Professionally, I'm a 24-year veteran of the Kent Fire Department, and our delegates from around the state, uh, from all corners of the state, uh, came together and passed a resolution calling on Governor Inslee to halt the traffic of Bakken crude oil trains across the state of Washington until it can be determined that it is safe to transport that Bakken crude. Well, guess what? It, it's not safe to transport, and it never will be safe to transport Bakken crude by rail. The only business that wants this to go are people that have a direct link to the big oil that's bringing it in here. This is a job killer. You people are doing God's work. You are, this is terrific. Uh, get out here, come on, let me hear it again. Hell no, this is a rally. No! The tank farm, which does not create very many jobs per acre, will displace where we put down our wind energy cargoes. A lot of people it takes to, to unload a wind energy ship. It does not take a lot of people to load an oil ship. If you live within three miles of a rail line, you're going to be disproportionately affected by the um, particulate matter. Diesel particulate matter is a major cause of lung cancer and chronic lung disease. The blast radius is a mile when it explodes, so I've grown up around the tracks. And so the skate park, the library, the school even, is in that one mile blast zone. Our leaders should uh, reject crude by rail. Say no to the terminals. No oil trains. Governor Inslee, stand with us, speak for us, raise your voices with us, and just say no. I mean, what I want to see is I want to see electrified rail moving at faster speeds and getting people and goods around in a clean, sustainable way. Solar works in Washington State. We have solar panels in our backyard and they are providing two-thirds of the electricity that we need. Let's also remember that our long-term goal is to develop innovative solutions and establish the Northwest as a global exporter of clean energy. We need to subsidize solar and not subsidize oil and coal. Trains are for people, not for oil.